Hi, Jill Jackson in the studio today to do a Rainbow Forbidden Swipe in collaboration with the fabulously talented Sandra Lett. My recipe for paint is one-third acrylics and two-third Floetrol. I'm using Artist Loft paints here. I'll lay out the rainbow forwards and backwards. I want to make sure that the whole spectrum is represented here. I learned from Sandra to keep my premixed paint in these bottles. It's really handy to have paint whenever you're ready to go. I nearly always add some white to add some light to the painting. My husband thought this looked like whales. Now what makes this swipe forbidden is that I've added three scant drops of silicone into my black, which is going to be my swipe color. In this case, I used three drops of spot-on treadmill lubricant. When I was learning to pour, I was taught to add silicone to all of the colors except for the black and white. But for a great swipe, I find quite the opposite is true. A tiny bit of silicone will give you beautiful wall-to-wall -wall cells. I like to add my swipe color all the way around the color because I feel like it frames the final piece in. So using a paper towel that I've slightly misted, slowly I'm going to do my swipe. To me, the most important thing is to make sure that the paper towel or your swiping instrument has good contact with the paint before you start to slowly pull. I'm doing this swipe in real time. And here we go. It's a good sign I'm already seeing all those beautiful cells start to pop up. A quick torch to remove any bubbles. Beautiful wall-to-wall -wall cells. The silicone in the swipe color makes a gorgeous swipe. Never want to leave well enough alone. I thought it might be fun to add a few balloon kisses to the border. After waiting about half an hour to let the paint settle, I'll gently touch the canvas with the balloon right here on the horizon. Love the way that's looking. Be sure to wipe off your balloon in between kisses. This particular painting has a big treat in store for it. I allowed the canvas to dry and sealed it with some clear spray gloss. I believe I had Rust-Oleum on hand. After curing for about a week, I shipped this painting to Sandra Lett and I cannot wait to see what she does with it. Are you ready to see? I'm ready to turn this over to the amazingly talented Sandra Lett. Information about Sandra will be in the description below. Sandra's got a Facebook group called Sandra Let's Share Our Acrylic Fluid Art. I'm actually the moderator for her, and we have a lot of fun in there. You really should check it out.
what can you say about this, but wow, this is really phenomenal, Sandra. Thank you so much. It has been an honor and a pleasure to do this collaboration with you. And thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe for more tips and ideas and visit SisterEarth.net for videos, events, and to check out the fine art and children's books available for purchase. As always, happy creating, my friends!